Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Listen, I'm Notando Zulu. I'm a storyteller, and I would like to greet you with a Swahili word that means hello, Jambo. But you know what? There's also a song that goes with that Swahili word, Jambo. And so the first, well, the first chorus, I'll say, or the first verse, however you would like to use it, is Jambo, Jambo Sana Jambo. And that means, hello, hello, everybody, hello. The second verse is um, Jambo, Jambo Watoto Jambo, which means, hello, hello, all my children, hello. But, of course, we're going to sing it, and, and I want you to sing along or sing after I sing, okay? Join in. Jumbo, Jumbo Sana Jumbo, hello, hello everybody, hello, Jumbo, Jumbo Watoto Jumbo, hello, hello all my children, hello. Jumbo, Jumbo, a toto Jumbo. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, Jumbo, Jumbo, a toto Jumbo. Hello, hello, all my children. Hello. Hello, all my children, hello. Hello, all my children, hello. Jumbo, Jumbo, Jumbo. And I want to tell you another story. It's about the animals. And, and this is about the whole bunch of the animals. With lion being king over all. The, this is called the name of the tree. You see... Sometimes the animals, just like people, have hard times. And this was the year of famine and dryness, and, and they, they, they didn't have water, they didn't have food. And so, Lion says, look, it is my job to stay right here where I am. He says, but if you all, all stay, there's definitely not enough food and water for you, and you will not last. He said, but you know, if you cross the desert on the other side, I am sure there is food and water. I want you all to please go and try to find some food and water for yourselves. I will stay here and maintain our kingdom here but you all can go. And so the animals left. And they walked very slowly because they were kind of weak because they hadn't eaten or had anything to drink for a long time. And finally, finally, they made it across the desert. And they kept going, and they noticed on the horizon a little hump. But as they got closer and closer, they saw that this hump was really a tree, a huge tree. And on this tree was all of the fruits of the world. Whatever your favorite fruit is, like a little strawberries on that tree, bananas on that tree, oranges on that tree tree. Oh, cantaloupe on that tree. Star fruit on that tree. However, the fruit was up so that not one of the animals could get to it. The snake couldn't crawl around the tree and up the tree to shake anything down. Every time the snake tried to crawl, it, it would just slip off the tree. The elephant, well, you didn't want the elephant to knock the tree down because if the, it's uprooted, you can't get any more. So n definitely not the elephant. 
and, 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 and what, the monkey with his long arms and, and nimble self, it couldn't grab a hole and climb up the tree either. So here was this fruit, and, and, and it, it, it was filled up on this tree, but they couldn't get to it. So they said, wow, here's food, and we can't get to it. Oh, my goodness, what good is it? That's when the turtle spoke up. He said, you know, now my grandmother told me about such a tree. She said, this tree has a name. And if you say the name of the tree, the fruit will then lean down so that you can reach it. So the other animal said, okay, so what's the name of the tree? And the turtle said, well, um, I'm not sure she gave me the name. If she did, I don't remember it. Um, so, uh, but the lion knows. And so someone needs to go back and ask the lion. Well, of course, oh, uh, well, now it was the deer. Yes, that, you know, Miss Antelope, actually. Uh, she, th she was thinking, <laughs> listen, I'll be the one to go. I am fast, fast, fast. I can leap and run and leap and run and be over there to where the lion is. Ask the question and be back before, you know, you know what's going on. So they said, okay. And Sister Antelope, well, she was leaping and bounding and leaping and bounding across the desert. She leaped and bounded until she was at the lion. And then she said, Lion, uh, we have come to this tree, has lots of fruit, food that we can eat, but we can't get to it because we need to know the name of the tree. And someone said that you know the name of the tree. What is the name of the tree? The lion said, the name of the tree is Ungali. Do not forget. It. She said, huh, I moved too fast to forget. Thank you very much. And then she was bounding off, leaping and bounding and leaping and bounding and leaping and bounding back across the desert, back to where the others were waiting. Only thing is, is that after she crossed the desert and was very close to the tree, there was a rabbit hole and her hoof got stuck in the rabbit hole, and it sent her tumbling, head over hoof, head over hoof. And when she finished tumbling, she shook her head because she did her head. The other animal saw her and said, hey, you're back. What's the name of the tree? She said, um, um. I forgot. The animal said, ah, uh, listen, we're going to have to send somebody else. The elephant said, I will go. I should have been the first one to go because I remember everything. I have 92 first cousins. And I remember all of their names. And I know all of the deciduous trees in the forest. And I know the names for those two. They said, okay, okay, just go and ask the lion. Certainly. And then the elephant was off. Now, it was just trodden along steadily on across the desert. And the thing is, after he crossed the desert and was close to where they'd all come from, the lion saw the elephant coming. The lion's mane kind of stood up. He had a frown on his face. And he was saying to himself, I hope, I hope, I hope that elephant's not coming to ask me the same question as the antelope. But of course the elephant was. And the elephant said to the lion, 
Uh, listen, Lion, Antelope forgot the name that you told her. So please, could you tell me the name of the tree? Lion said, I told Antelope, and I'm telling you, but I'm not going to tell anybody else. Listen, the name of the tree is Ungali. You got it? Ungali. Don't forget it, because I'm not telling anybody else. Elephant said, thank you very much. You won't have to tell anyone else. I know how to remember. I have 92 cousins, first cousins, as a matter of fact, and I know all of their names. Lion said, uh-huh, just don't forget. So Elephant started up, back across the desert, just trying along, steady and sure, saying to himself, why am I going to forget? I know how to remember. Oh, I know all of those trees. Yes, I do. I know all of my first cousins. Yes, I do. Forget? Oh, how could I forget? But just as he got across the desert and was getting close to where those were, his foot got stuck in the rabbit hole. And so the elephant had to uh, pull. Oh, pull. Ah, pull. Oh, mm, oh. And finally, the elephant's foot came out. But pulled so hard, the elephant fell. Hit his head. And the animals heard him fall. They ran over. Hey, elephant, what's the name of the tree? Alvin stood up, shook his head. <clears throat> uh, I forgot. He said, oh, no. Oh, no. We got food here. And we can't eat it because we can't get to it. Ah, what are we going to do? We just, oh. They were really sad and crying and hairs all down and the turtle didn't say anything to anyone, just started out. And the turtle went slow and steady across that desert. Now, I know you think about turtles moving slow, but the thing is that it's always steady. And if you watch a turtle, it doesn't look like it's really going slow if you're watching it carefully. And so the turtle made it across the desert. And the turtle went right up to that lion. Now, by the time the turtle got to the lion, the lion was saying to himself, I'm not telling anybody anything. His mane was up. He had a big frown on his face. He had a snarl on his mouth. His tail was flapping. And he said, to the turtle before turtle could say anything. I hope you're not here to ask me what the name of the tree is because I told the antelope and I told the elephant the name of the tree is Ungali and I'm not telling anybody else. And turtle said, thank you, and turned around. And then turtle did what his grandmother had taught him to do when he needed to keep some information. Remember information. So as the turtle went back across the desert, turtle sang, Angali, Angali, the name of the tree is Angali. Angali, Angali, the name of the tree is Angali. Angali, Angali, the name of the tree is Angali. Ungali, Ungali, the name of the tree is Ungali. And he got across the desert, and of course he came to that rabbit hole, and he fell into the rabbit hole. But as he was climbing his way out of that rabbit hole, he was still singing, Ungali, Ungali, the name of the tree is Ungali, 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 the name of the tree is Ungali. Well, the other animals, they were so sad thinking that they were not going to be able to eat and that they were just going to 
pass away even with food available. And they were very, very sad. They had given up hope. And so their heads were down. And they weren't even listening as the turtle came amongst them, singing, Ungali, Ungali. The name of the tree is Ungali. And when the turtle got right to the bottom of that tree, that turtle looked up and said in a nice, loud voice, Ungali! And the tree bent its boughs down so that the animals could eat all of the fruit that they wanted. And the animals looked up, oh! And they said, thank you, turtle. Thank you ever so much. And they said, we must remember the name of this tree so that whenever we are hungry, we can eat. And that is the end of that. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my stories. Bye-bye.